Yo, 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 what's up, guys? Good morning. Happy, uh, what is today? Is today Thursday or Wednesday? Oh, today's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. So, anyway, guys, I'm heading to the shop, man. We're about to go do a day two ride along um, with my um, my student from Virginia, Sean Jefferson. And uh, me, him, and Scobie going to be doing a nice size uh, screen of Rico today. So, anyway, guys, me and Sean, you know, my students come out here, you know, we start talking. You know, uh, we, you know, getting to know each other more, and then we always start talking about business. Um, Sean just gave me a lot of good feedback of things that he has learned from me um, throughout the years of following me uh, from YouTube to uh, Facebook Cleaners Connect. And um, one of the things that we was talking about, um, you know, guys, and again, I, I, I like to, I like to show people that there's different ways of thinking you know of things and just instead of what they always see so sean was saying yeah courtney man i just want to get to the point where you know when i go on vacation you know and my business is not operating i don't feel bad about it and guys i just want to put it out there right yes i know a lot of us you know as business and entrepreneurs we see you know the way you know so some people run their businesses and like i said you know you got people that say oh i went on vacation and my business is still running itself right hey, hey guys there's nothing wrong with that but that's not that's not every business all right and that's not everybody's situation there's people that go on business, you know, they go on vacation. I, I know companies when they go, when the owner goes on vacation, everybody go on vacation, right? He shut that, you know, shut the whole company down. But my thing is just to give, you know, people different views to think about, you know, when it comes to these type of situations is that, like I told Sean, okay, let's say, you know, you want to go on vacation for five days, right? And you are owner operator. And let's say, man, you know, again, I'm just throwing numbers out. Let's just say you send on a hundred thousand dollars. You know, you you know that you got a hundred grand in your bank. Your bills paid. You living good. Business is good. And you want to go uh, take a vacation, right, for five days, guys? Let's be honest. Is it really that damn serious to feel uh, 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 bad because your business is not running itself because you want to go enjoy life? I mean, guys, again, myself as an owner operator, I used to think that way. And you know what I realized? When I used to tell my clients that I was going on vacation, when you, especially you work for people who understand, Courtney, go on vacation, enjoy yourself. It's not that serious, okay? Because we're talking about cleaning, all right? <laughs> and, 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 if it, and if it is that serious, let's find somebody else or I can refer them to somebody else. So when I was an owner operator, I remember when I was an owner operator, I used to answer my phones when I was on vacation. I got to the point like, what's the point of going on vacation if I'm still working? So I got to the point, what I did, I started leaving on my voicemail. Hey guys, this is Courtney. Uh, I'll be out of town or I'll be on, va on, on vacation from this day to this day. If you would like, you can leave a message um and i'll call you back you know or you can call me back the, the the following day after i get back from vacation most people understand guys most people understand but my thing is this and i was telling sean when i go on vacation right i got two guys that work for me all right depending on the schedule yes they're working okay yes they're still able to make money Yes, the clients are still able to get the services done. That's good, all right? But when it comes to the money, like like the, what the owner is making, is it really that serious? Now, I'm speaking for myself. Is it really that damn serious, all right? That 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 the, the money that I'm 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 that I'm probably making because a lot of times I'm going to be honest with you guys, you know, me and Sean was talking about this. Most, a lot of times, man, depending on how your the business and the structure of your, of your business is, guys, sometimes, man, you can you, once you pay everybody as the owner, you don't really make a lot of money. Sometimes, you, me and my buddy Chandler, we talk about this all the time. It's just to keep people in, you know, working, keep people employed, all right, and, and, and keep the business open so you can take care of your, your, you know, your customers and your clients. But like I was saying, if you got money in the bank you want to go enjoy life is it really that serious if you miss out on a thousand dollars if you miss out on a few thousand dollars because you want to go enjoy life and go on vacation to me just me no it ain't that damn say it is not that serious so i just want to put it out there man it's uh you know guys don't don't let certain things like that 
stop you because that's why you're in business you know and that's what i'm trying to promote people who are in business is to get to a point where that's why we go out here and do this every day these long hours you see what i'm saying uh, doing what it takes to keep your business afloat doing what it takes to stay in business marketing i was showing i, I was i was showing uh sean yesterday my google ads already this year i spent a hundred and twenty four thousand dollars on, on Google Ads. You think I would be spending that type of money if it was just me? No. So those are just some of the things as a as the owner you have to do to, like I said, keep other people um, busy and keep other people employed. But when it comes to going out enjoying life, guys, you should not be restricted. Now, let's say now there was like me and Sean was talking. Now I remember when I used to go on vacation. When I started going on vacation, you know, ten years ago, and I didn't have a lot of money in the bank. Yes, I mean that is a reason to be nervous, you know, because you know I remember guys. I just throw it out there. I mean, we go, me and my wife and kids go on a little vacation, just a little three day vacation. I only got maybe three, four grand in my account, and I'm watching every damn dollar while we on vacation. Now that was not a good feeling. Okay, because I really didn't get to enjoy, you know, myself because, yes, I need it. You know, if I miss money, if I miss money, all right, or I miss jobs because I, I couldn't work, yes, that, that that that's a different feeling. But like I said, man, if, if you sit in, uh, uh, comfortable, okay, with your finances, all right, and you want to go enjoy life, is, is it really that serious that, 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 that your, your business is not operating, you know, for four or five days? You know, guys say, well, Courtney, you know, man, uh, now let's say, for example, if you're on an operator and you only got one truck and, you, and let's say your, your, your main truck go down, that's when you should have some type of backup equipment, all right, or, or network with other guys in your area. So I used to do that. I never had a backup truck, okay? When I was an owner operator, I always had one truck. And I will say there was times where my truck went down, you know, transmission went down, uh, engine failure, whatever. So I network with other guys in my area. So when the, so when those uh, issues did occur, I had people that I can say, hey, Miss Jones, this is Courtney. Uh, my transmission went down. It's going to be in the shop for a week, but I got a guy, one of my buddies, I'm going to refer you to. They're going to take care of you. Again, guys, as a small business owner, people understand. Believe me, trust me, people understand, and especially if you communicate with them, okay? So I just want to put it out there, man. Don't, don't feel bad, okay? Yes, there are a lot of companies that go on vacation. They're still pulling in a lot of income, you know. But if you're not in that position, why, again, why feel bad about it? If you got money in the bank, man, and you can go enjoy life, go enjoy life. This is why you get out here and you work in your own business every single day. I refuse to get out here and work in a business and not enjoy it. Hell no. Hell no. No. I mean, you know how I many people I know I can go get a job. I can go work. I can go work for TCS if I wanted to. I, hey, Mike. Hey, this Courtney. Go ahead and get me set up. I'm about to come up there and be your, your main your main sales rep. You know, whatever. Um, so that's the thing, guys. I just want to put it out there. But anyway, man, it's a beautiful day, guys. I'm about to get into this uh, shop so we can go get the, uh, started on this job. And uh, just something for you guys to think about. All right. See you in the next one.